Hi, I'm Katie Couric, and welcome to Eye to Eye. Security threats will keep Britain's Prince Harry from serving a tour in Iraq, at least for now. Former British NATO commander Bob Stewart told our Mark Phillips the royals' constant media scrutiny is partly to blame for keeping Harry out of harm's way. I have decided today that Prince Harry will not deploy as a troop leader with his squadron. Frankly, Richard Dannett, when he made the decision not to allow him to deploy, made that decision with a heavy heart because actually he had no choice. The intelligence indicates that this man, this prince, is going to be very severely at threat and so will those around him. Under those circumstances, it is better for him not to deploy at the moment because by not deploying, his unit will just stand the same kind of risk as every other British soldier in Basra. It's a bit of a propaganda failure. The opposition have won insofar as Harry's not deploying. But my goodness, it would be a huge propaganda failure if the general, chief of the general staff said he's, he's going to go regardless of the intelligence. Harry is killed and those, say, 10, 12 people around him are also killed. That's a huge propaganda failure and we can't allow that to happen. Harry wanted to go. The condition of him joining the army was that he would be allowed to serve in operational circumstances. But in this particular operational circumstances, the intelligence indications are so great for the threat that he might face that it is not deemed not sensible for him to deploy. It does not mean he can't deploy at another time in another place, or indeed in the same place at another time. The media focus on Harry and all this has probably not helped in one respect because actually the media saying he's going, he's going, he's going, mm. lots of pictures of him, this has alerted the opposition and the opposition have said, great, here's an opportunity for a score. Still, the general staff also said in the end, after all the speculation, he's going. They said they would keep it under review, but they did say he's going, yeah. and now they have to say that he isn't. It doesn't look good. No, it, it, actually, you're right in one respect, but may I point out that decision makers have to change their mind when circumstances change, and the circumstances appear to have changed. Not just the intelligence that has come in, but General Sir Richard Dannett did actually visit Basra last week, and clearly made his own judgment as to the threat against Harry and his unit. Look, it would be very silly to deploy anyone who has a threat so great against them when actually by not deploying them, that threat is, is reduced. We have enough threats against uh, our coalition forces in Iraq already, mm. um, and it would be, in a way, unfair when this threat is so obviously and clearly greater than the general threat that Dannett thought was happening against Prince Harry a few weeks ago. Things have changed.